Hi everyone, we're going to have a go at playing a traditional Spanish or Latin American game today. Now it's called La Pirinola or sometimes Tomatoso and it's a very old game, it dates back to ancient Rome but they still play it in Mexico and in Latin America. Uh, and tomato basically means uh, take everything. So we're going to learn some Spanish first. So the first bit of Spanish we're going to learn is this. Toma. Can you have a go at saying toma? Muy bien. And toma means take. So it's like a bossy verb, take. And the next word we're going to use is this one. Pon. Pon. Can you say pon? Muy bien. And pon means put. It's another bossy verb. So those are the two verbs that we've learned, we're going to learn for this game. And then there are a couple of other phrases that we need to learn to help us play. So the first one is this one. Toma uno. Take one. And then the next one is toma dos. Take two. So let's have another practice. We've got Toma uno, now your turn, and now toma dos. Muy bien. Now we're going to have a look at the put phrases. So we had toma uno, uno and toma dos before. Now we've got pon uno and pon dos. So put one in, put two. In. So the first one, let's have a practice. Pon uno. Muy bien. Pon dos. Muy bien. And the last two phrases that we're going to learn today are these. So, can you see that just about? So this one, toma todo, which means take everything. And then the last one, we've got to, todos ponen, ponen uno. Let me get my pronunciation correct. Todos ponen uno. Everyone puts one in. So we'll practice them together. Toma todo. And your turn. Muy bien. And then this one. Todos ponen uno. Muy bien. Okay, so now that we've learnt our phrases, you're going to need these in a moment when you've finished making what you need to play the game. So to play the game, you need one of these, which is like a little spinning top. And if you look closely, I'll put it closely so you can see, it's got... You can see I tried to decorate mine, but my pen didn't work. It's got all of the phrases on it that we just learned. So we've got toma uno, toma dos, toma todo, pon uno, pon dos, todos ponen uno. And you've got to play this with another person, otherwise it'd be a bit boring. But basically, what happens is... I'm going to angle that so that you can see my little stool with the game on. Camera issues there. Basically, everyone gets ten, ten kind of coins or bits or smarties maybe if you've got some smarties to play with and everyone starts off with 10 3 in mm. espanol 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then I'll count some more out for my friend 1 2 3 4 5 6 Ocho, nueve, diez. Okay, so now we have ten each. And then we have a kind of supply in the middle. Now, 
what you've got to do is take it in turns to spin the top that I will show you how to make in a moment. So you spin the top. And can you see mine says, todos ponen uno. Okay, hang on. Uno. Pause. By the magic of cinematography, uno. Okay, off we go again. I'll spin one more time. Oh, the other person's been done. Never mind. You get the gist. Ooh, toma dos. Take two. Uno, dos. You get the gist. So, to make it your little spinning top, what you will need is a little bit of card. I used a bit from a cereal box that I had lying around. You might have some packages or parcels that your mums or dads have um, finished with. And then um, I coloured over the top and drew, um, so I had six sections for each of the phrases that we've learnt and wrote in pen the phrases and then I stuck a pencil or something, it could be a cocktail stick if you've got a cocktail stick or something with a little bit of a point. Um, I also had to chop my pencil up because when I tried it with a tall pencil it didn't really work, it just fell over. So make sure that you have something that's not too tall um, and has a little bit of a point. I think you could also have a go at making it with like some kind of spinner if you have, you could keep it flat I think and then put something that you could flick and then spin around like a paper clip or something like that. That could work really well. Um, anyway, I hope that that makes sense and that I've not left anything out. Um, hopefully it makes sense. Um, and I hope that you have fun using your new verbs, toma and bon, take and put, and that if you don't use them, in the game then you can use them around the house bossing people around using those bossy verbs um which we shouldn't do but it can be quite fun bueno adios chicos